Yeah, man. Safe travels, man. Catch you guys in New York. Stay safe. Keep it real. You know the drill. See you in New York. Right. Catch you later, man. It's been a pleasure. Richard. Yeah. Been a pleasure, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with everything. Yeah, yeah thanks. Guys. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Philip's battery seems to be broken, so he's going to have to kickstart it. Yay! Yeah, let's go. We just managed to miss the 10 a.m. ferry and the next one's like 11.30. Heading out towards the ferry now. Going to the Exactly. Bye, Suki Hall. Welcome back to Dumaguete. Welcome. Anything can happen. At Zombocom. Alrighty. The actual reason we are here in uh, Dua Spaghetti is because uh, we are going places tomorrow. Yeah, we are going to try and see if we can do the Apple Island and the Mandarin Sandbar. We didn't get a chance to do it before, uh, secure because of the typhoon, but hopefully we can do it now. There's no traffic lights, so you just have to start walking at some point. Yeah, like when you wait so long that you don't die, you're alive anymore, <laughs> so you can just walk. We're back at the flying fish now. Flying fish. We've got our keys now. And we're in the same room we were in last time. Today we'll be heading to the sand going with that minivan right there. We're now here in the port of Bikes. This is about an hour's drive away from Dumaguete. And then somewhere out there we have the sandbar. I think we're going dolphin watching right now. You can actually already see the sandbar from here. But I think we're going dolphin watching first, so that'll probably be nearby. We're just passing by the sandbar right now. It's right over here. We've nearly made it all the way over to Cebu. It's the island over there. We're probably closer to Cebu now than Negros back there. We've now stopped moving and we're searching for dolphins. There's like eight dolphins right over there. There's some more over there, just two of them. If only I had a zoom lens. They're right underneath us. Oh, they're all just over there. There's like 10 of them over there. Oh. We're pretty much just playing peekaboo with the dolphins. We're trying to catch up with them and see if we can get them in the shot. It's kind of difficult actually. Back towards the sandbar now. The really cool thing about this sandbar is that the water here is really shallow, but we're basically out in the middle of the ocean. So unless it's high tide, as it is right now, you can basically just run around in shallow water out in the middle of the ocean. As you can see, the water goes about to here. I'm kind of hoping that while we launch, it's going to go a bit down so we can get a bit of a low tide. Seems like the tide has gone slightly out, but not enough to go walking yet. We found an area here which is also quite shallow. It's only about waist deep now. I reckon if we stay here for like maybe a few hours, we'll get, you know, a good height. We've got an intense photo shoot going on here. Probably like 10 Instagram pictures in a day. Of Alexander. Oh yeah, give, give me that. Duck face. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You're getting those good pictures there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started our trip with nothing and only 10 subscribers. Now we're here. 
56. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> this is how we vlog, by the way. Um, like, kind of, Philip's got the camera closed right now, but you know, this is just what we do all day. It's very important, it doesn't touch the water. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <it's fun. laughs> Amazing. Amazing! Uh, we're kind of missing, like, uh, other people to do this with long hair, but you know, Philip can do his best. Oh, right, go! <laughs> <laughs> that feeling when you just can't be asked to walk back. Just jump on your boyfriend's shoulders, he'll carry you. So in case we don't actually manage to stay here until it's low tide, I'll just, uh, I'll let you guys just imagine it. Here we go. You, you ready for this? I'm gonna run, well, well the camera's gonna run across the sand, look. That, that's pretty much how it works. Philip, I think you've got something on your head. <laughs> he has now returned to its natural habitat. Philip's also in his natural habitat. <laughs> Philip's found a new innovative way to keep your phone dry while swimming. Like this. What? <laughs> the tide has gone slightly down. When we started it was up here, and now it's gone down a step. So if we wait a few hours more, we might actually be able to walk around here. It's just so beautiful up there. The cliffs are just covered in the clouds. Would you say it's amazing? It's pretty amazing. The boat has just decided to pull up here. Make it easier to get stuff back on the boat. We're about to leave the sandbar now. The tide never did really go out far enough to actually see the sand, unfortunately. Goodbye, sandbar. Actually quite good timing because the weather is taking a turn for the worse, it's starting to rain. Gotta get those Titanic photos. I really like outrigger boats, it's really cool to just walk along these pipes. The port here in Bais is just next to this like mangrove forest, which looks really beautiful. It just looks like lots of green bushes. Back on dry land. Back. We're going back to the hostel and we'll edit. Like that. Probably. We're eight days behind. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No,